next fifth one diagonal matrix a square matrix in which all the entries except the entries along the main diagonal are zero is called the diagonal matrix so here a is a matrix that is 2 by 2 matrix have the ele elements as 1 0 0 4 0. see the elements in the main diagonal 1 and 4 which is not equal to 0 so except this main diagonal the remaining entries are zero so we can say this a as a diagonal matrix in the same way the matrix p so in that the diagonal elements are a e i other than the diagonal elements the remaining entries are that is a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 1 a 2 3 a 3 1 a 3 2 the remaining entries are zero therefore we can say this as a diagonal matrix so a matrix that is a particular a square matrix in which all the entries except the main diagonal or zero na we can say that matrix as a diagonal matrix sixth one scalar matrix a diagonal matrix whose entries along the main diagonal are equal is called the scalar matrix so previous definition is diagonal matrix where the principal diagonal elements are non zero or the main diagonal elements are non zero for the scalar matrix the main diagonal elements are equal na we can say that matrix as a scalar matrix see example the matrix a say main diagonal elements are 4 which are equal the for this is called the scalar matrix here the matrix p which is of order 3 by 3 the main diagonal elements are equal that is a so we can say this matrix as a scalar matrix seventh one unit matrix a matrix particularly a square matrix in which all the diagonal entries that is main diagonal entries are 1 and the rest are zero is called the unit matrix so in the scalar matrix all the main diagonal elements are equal na it is called the scalar matrix in the same the main diagonal elements are equal to 1 na that matrix is called unit matrix so diagonal matrix na except the main diagonal the remaining elements are zero scalar matrix na that leading diagonal element should be equal unit matrix na that leading diagonal element should be one eighth one triangular matrix a square matrix which is either upper triangular or lower triangular is called the triangular matrix so what is upper triangular matrix all the elements below the main diagonal are zero see consider the matrix so this is main diagonal a e i are the elements in the main diagonal so below the main diagonal the entries are zero therefore this is called upper triangular matrix one another way we can remind above the main diagonal the entries are non zero also it is called upper triangular matrix so see the example y equal to so we have the 4 by 4 matrix so the diagonal elements are main diagonal elements are 1 5 8 10 so below that main diagonal the entries are zero so this is called upper element upper triangular matrix similarly the lower triangular matrix all the entries above the main diagonal are zero so here below the main diagonal are zero for lower triangular matrix above the main diagonal elements are zero so the main diagonal are a c i so above that we have zeros the entries are zero that is a 1 2 a 1 3 a 2 3 are zero so this is the example for lower triangular matrix similarly the one another example we have 4 cross 4 matrix so the diagonal elements are main diagonal entries are 1 3 6 10 so above that we have all the entries are zero so these two are examples of lower triangular matrix so a square matrix which is either upper triangular or lower triangular is called the triangular matrix